guys, I'm ready for some Kirk today. I don't know. I'm feeling like if they don't give me Kirk this episode, I'm actually going to be kind of disappointed because I am really in the mood for some Kirk scenes. So fingers are crossed. Episode 11 of Gilmore Girls Season 3. If you enjoy, do make sure to leave a like because it does help the video. It does help the channel. Uh, and the early and uncuts will be, of course, on Patreon, which will be linked down below. By the time this episode is on YouTube, let me triple check. They should have finished season three and will be about to start season four. So if you do want to join over on there, like I say, link down below alongside my Twitter and Instagram. But for now, let's do this. Hi. Good evening. May Hi. I take your coat? Oh, sure. Thanks. That's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Your mother's in the living room. Ah. So last chance to run, huh? Excuse me? Actual question. Do they have a new maid every time they come here? Is that like a running joke that I've just caught on? Oh, I see. Because I want things a certain way. I'm unreasonable. Shh. Why not? It's the most absurd... <laughs> I want to see this document. Fax it to me immediately. It's unacceptable because I'm paying you $300 an hour. So turn that little near luxury car around, go back to your office, and fax me that libelous scrap of paper. I wonder if you can pick up some ice cream, too. Well, tell your wife to tape your daughter's recital. Unbelievable. I oh, know. Absolutely shocking. <laughs> Mom, spill it. What's wrong? That was our lawyer calling to inform me that one of our former maids is suing for wrongful termination. Ah. Uh, you might at least ask the prize. <laughs> She's dressed like Kylo Ren. She was the clomper. The clomper? She'd be upstairs making the beds and it'd sound like a Munich beer hall rally. That's why you fired her? Right. Yes. Because she made noise when she walked? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, well... She was not performing her duties as I wished them to be performed. Everything else is beside the point. Right, okay, so she did everything well, but she walked loudly. For years, I've been listening to you and your father and everyone else go on and on about how demanding I am. Well, it, um... <laughs> Pay for first class and the airline sticks you in coach. People expect you to be upset. I mean, she has a point there. Excuse me, Mrs. Gilmore, dinner's ready. Thank you, Brooke, we'll be right there. Wait, wait, wait. Do you hear that? Mm. Hear what? Exactly. No clomping. She has a point about the coach thing, but um, firing someone for walking loudly. I asked for a kazoo because <laughs> you can only seem to give me the most bizarre opposite. What is your problem? I need you to you say, what? this morning. Oh, these two arguing again. You will bring me the Brussels sprouts. I'm trying to plan a menu here, Jackson. Oh. And what are you that Jackson brought pea tendrils instead of Brussels sprouts. Right, 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 right. Doesn't it matter that I care so much about the quality of the produce that I sell you that I'd be willing to risk an enormous argument just to save your dinner? What? Oops, that was dumb. <laughs> Unlucky, bro. That's it. I am leaving. Go! But take the tendrils with you. Fine. See you tonight. I love you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what do you need? The new insurance policies you all do. Good. Mm -hmm. And the inspector's supposed to be coming by to check the place out tomorrow, so you're gonna have to show- Those cakes look horrific. I'm just throwing that one out there. Yes, well, I predict that tomorrow will be a complete waste of time and money, and I will be here to laugh at you when you return. Thanks for your support. <laughs> I love what his face just drops when he's done with his sentence. I'd say jokes. What about the ones for Dr. Phil? I think real. I knew that suggestion box was a bad idea. Yeah, don't do a suggestion box. Yeah, but... Well, our fearless leader is at work already. I feel so safe. That girl bugs me. Oh, Relax, wow. she's harmless. Paris, Rory. Paris, Rory. Bedwetter. Shall we sit? <laughs> Fine, let's sit. <sighs> I don't know what that means, but that line delivery was on point. First of all, I'd like to apologize for missing last week's somewhat impromptu meeting. As most of you know, its scheduling was somewhat unorthodox since... 2001 or 3? Let me just see when it aired. I wonder how old I was when... 2003, so... I'd have been eight. <laughs> the only thing left to figure out is where to set up the sign-up table for the annual blood drive. <laughs> Jeez, Bloody what's hell. the matter? She hates the word blood. Give me a heart attack. Right. Just keep your hands on your ears. Tell me when it's over. What the hell? <laughs> the word blood. It's the cafeteria every day. It's the perfect location. Well, no. Excuse me? You can't set up in the cafeteria. It's a fire hazard. No, I'm opposing the blood drive in the cafeteria. Is it really that big a deal? It's the rules, Paris. The rules of common decency. And I'll be damned if I let Francie ignore those rules. Wow. You tell okay. him, I guess. Paris is well impressed. <laughs> this might be the most boring rivalry I've ever seen. I've heard the rivalry between, like, Dean and Jess or something. I love this. It's food and a game all in one. Now we open them at the same time. I know the rules. I could not do that. What if you got some, like, gherkin in there? 
Hello? No. Who is this? I am not giving a deposition. Of course you are. Don't be ridiculous. Please <laughs> leave me out of this. I of course you are. Teutonic chambermaid drag your mother into a public forum and humiliate her. Is that it? <laughs> God, so dramatic. All you have to do is tell them I treat the help fairly. I'm not going to lie for you. Lorelai, there is something Ooh. called family loyalty. Is that? It means when someone is in trouble, you help them, as I have helped you several times over the years. Fine. Thank you. Your devotion is touching. <laughs> God. She's got to lie on the stand. I think this is Moroccan, or at least not recently. Want some of mine? Nope. Yikes. Luke's? Let's go. Wow. What a waste of money. Shocker, maybe you should actually know what you're ordering instead of doing a random gift bag from the... What? decisions you'll have to make when you open your inn is whether to employ your housekeepers individually or contract to you, out to a housekeeping service. Here? If you use a service, oh, is there, uh, you will be assured thing? of having a replacement housekeeper yeah. if one... I can't believe you're taking notes. He has said history. nothing in the last two yeah, hours of... Two hours. Pick a color. <gasps> Pink. Because you're a girl. Exactly. P I N K. Pick a number. Five. Everyone could definitely hear them. <laughs> Some of us are here to learn. <sighs> sorry. Yeah, sorry. Suki should be doing this. At least she has a bit of personality. So don't get discouraged. I'm sure one day I'll be staying in each and every one of your inns. Jesus. I asked Brian if I could just Brian. have a few minutes at the end of today. To show you all some opportunities that I think you're going to find really exciting. Right, here we I know go. that I do. Right, I doubt it. We are not Kirk yet. What's the point in this? Now, this is a lovely property that has just become available right outside. This is an Richfield. auction? It's Capacity a sales pitch. Room. They spent two wow. hours doing nothing. Crushing your head. I'm crushing your head. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> a perfectly restorable sun porch wraps around the entire main structure. Let's step inside this diamond in the rough. Did they, they're trying to sell on him? What the hell? Uh, what was Jackson thinking saying these courses were good? He said they were good. Well, that runs actually about as boring as he is. Suki? Suki St. James? Uh huh. It's Joe! Joe Mastoni oh from God. the Deer Hill Lodge! Oh my God! Joe! <laughs> He is from 24, season two. Kim's kidnapper, <laughs> as always, because Kim gets kidnapped every season. So this would have been a year after that season as well, I think. Hey, nice blisters. Let me see yours. Oh, not bad, not bad. I'm more careful about using the towels with the hot stuff these days. I mean, these, these two have more chemistry than her and Jackson already. Just throwing that one out there. Hey, remember the time you and Fat Sal got locked in the freezer overnight? <laughs> Fat Sal. Work with me here. Oh, that's out. Yes, right. That's oh, Got into a fight with the bride. Lorelai's too witty for some people, I guess. He tried to pretend he didn't speak English, remember? <gasps> that's right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do you two want to... Oh, great. Now I have to make up our own language. This is getting exhausting. It is going on a little bit, to be fair. Sure, call me at the Independence Inn. That's where we work. For now. Sounds great. So glad we ran into each other. Me I'm too. not. And it was nice meeting you, Lorelai. Good luck with everything. Thanks, you two. Is there purpose to that scene? I'm assuming that's going to be Lorelai's next love interest for, like, two apps. Yeah, she's looking back. Hmm. So I should just sit quietly and shovel in whatever slop they throw my way, like some inmate in the chow line at Leavenworth doing 20 to life? I don't think so. That's exactly what it's like, yes. Who now? It's gonna be her rival. You dead meat! No. We need to meet right down the time, please. What is going on? You get murdered, Rory. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> We need to talk. We have three classes together. We couldn't talk then. I thought alone would be better. Besides, you picked the place. What do you want? I want a truce. Excuse me? A truce, you know? Are you giving up, basically? Okay. But I never intended for things to go so far. No. No, I mean, it's my senior year, too. Why would I want to spend the whole time scheming and fighting? It's too exhausting. I want to stop this war, this vendetta, this... War? Okay, sure. Friends. Sort of. Friends. Sort of. Shake. Oh, she's gonna be gone. Ooh. 
very uh, Stop doing that. Batman. Then one day he disappeared. I told the police what I knew, but sadly the adorable little shadow box was never found. It was tragic. You got rid of a dog? Mm, no. You murdered a How dog. How could you get rid of a dog? I will gladly show you the transcript from the lawyer and the result of the lie detector test. You're heinous. And very well rested. Lorelai. <laughs> Hi. Remember me? Of course I do. Yeah, hard to forget, bro. It's been a day. You still got the old 52-inch Viking. I know. I just like how big it is. I blew it up once. Wow. But I had them rebuild it. I refuse to cook out anything else. Oh, but you only washed his hands. I don't want your trumpy fingers all over my food definitely picks his bum and he's just coming in like chopping asparagus we always had a good time together didn't we yeah it was a good group you always made it better <laughs> you're doing nothing from driving off the side of a mountain very true you know i'm really glad we ran in school i failed cooking okay i did a better job than that could you just uh stir yeah oh. I'll, I'll be back yeah, get him doing anything else. This is a date. What? Joe, he thinks this is a date. Is he crazy? Exactly. Uh, you weren't there. It's not a date, is it? No. The, the two of you were going to go bust Feldster's chops. It's Buster definitely chops not, a not a date. That's what I thought. But he keeps saying how he liked me back then and how this is his second chance. He's liked you for 10 years. Yes. Wow. wow. That is some <laughs> serious great Gatsby pining. But I didn't bring it on, did I? I mean, did I flirt? No, you did not flirt. No. You were talking about bung. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. What's Jackson gonna say? Suki, it's a misunderstanding. Jackson will be fine. No, Jackson will throw a tantrum. I'll tell you that for a fact. You hand out that kind of rejection. <gasps> I could tell him I'd become a lesbian. Yeah, or I'm married might work. <gasps> right, I'm married. Good. That's very good. That is a good It's gonna be fine. Joe's a nice guy yes. with good taste. He's probably gonna be a psychopath and murder the whole hotel. There's been a misunderstanding. I thought this thing tonight was just a friend's thing. You know, not like a date thing. Oh. <laughs> right, why would you think it would be a date anyway, you absolute fool? I take it off when I'm cooking, but look, there it is, right where it should be. Yep, on it's there. Finger. You're married. Yes, I am. I hope that's okay. Hey, if your husband's good with it, who am I to complain? You're not mad? Why would I be mad? I'm not mad. He's gonna pick up all the pots and pans and throw them everywhere. Why don't we make a plan to harass Feldman some other time? You can bring your husband and I'll see if I can get a real date. <laughs> That'd be fun. You yeah, seem to have taken it well, actually, to be fair. So far. Bye, Joe. Okay. See, he's smiling. Walks back in I with an M4. to get worked up over. Obviously let him down very well. And now maybe you guys can be friends. I'm a whore! Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a reasonable response to that. Would you say your mother is an easy woman to get along with? No. Yes. yes. You're not. I'd get along with her like that. Boom. Done. I'd just bow before her and that'd be it. I'd be the maid. Done. Paris. Good. I so need to talk to you. Go away. Are you lost? Listen. Who's feeling threatened by her? It's like Tetris from The Idol. Actually far more threatening than Tetris from The Idol, but... And the last thing I would ever want is for you to get the wrong impression about my loyalties. Mm. What are you talking about? These were shoved in my locker this morning. There's no way you fall for this, Paris. To myself, I'll just show them to Paris and I'll explain and she'll understand. Explain what? What is this? Lori came to me and said she wanted to talk about some things. Yeah. You know, policy, the prom, There's no way you senior fall for this, gift, etc. Paris is just too wrapped up in that boyfriend of hers to care about any of this. You do not believe this. Don't. I can't be honest with that kind of storyline. You two falling out again. Are you mad? Say you're not mad. I just couldn't live if I thought you were mad. No, I'm not mad. You do not believe that for a second. Does your helmet smell? I always get one that smells. You think the brain trust behind P.E. could come up with some sport that didn't give you helmet hair all afternoon? Like badminton or striptease aerobics? What? It's really big in L.A. You just go through the motions. You don't great. actually have to strip. Do the other people in the gym throw money at you? Fine, mock, but tell me this. Have you ever seen an overweight stripper? The word no seems so wildly inadequate. Maybe not in 2000. <laughs> hey, where have you been? Oh my god, there's a hair on mine. <laughs> Paris Beginning is gonna salute. go harm. On guard. Right side advance. You okay? Right side retreat. Why do you ask? And lunch. You just seem weird. Left side advance. Oh. Easy there, Paris. Left side retreat. Paris, I hate being had. Why are you telling me this? You're not supposed to be parrying that hard. Hey, I'm sorry. Saw the pictures. What pictures? You know what pictures. Obviously, I don't know what pictures. The pictures of you and Francie. And Francie? You and Francie in the parking garage talking about me. Paris, I don't make that face at me. What face? I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> there is that. Behind my back. We haven't. We met once. Aha, uh -huh, you admit it. Yes, but it wasn't what you think. Brutus. <laughs> Brutus. 
Judas. <laughs> well, she may have said Judas. Well, it's better than Game of Thrones. Paris, she's setting me up. She's trying to manipulate you. Of course she is. You think I don't know when someone's trying to manipulate me? But it doesn't change the fact that you met with her behind my back. Ooh, oh, she doesn't know. I was trying to help you. Okay, so Paris isn't that silly. <laughs> you told her about Jamie. I can't believe I ever considered Ooh. you my best friend. Damn. But she did know she was having a run though, that's good. I still can't believe it. I can't believe I got sucked in like that. Oh, that Francie is pure evil, so she'll probably wind up president. Paris is so upset. She totally thinks I betrayed her. She'll calm down. Paris has never calmed down. Paris will calm down in like season four at 18 or something. Everything okay, Mom? Of course it's okay. Why wouldn't it be okay? I don't know. You just been a little quiet, do I? I guess I do. <laughs> I don't really have a lot to say, actually. Okay, well. I know. Why don't I read to you instead? Huh? There we go. What's that? She's making a this? point. Nothing. Just your deposition. You say your mother is a tolerant woman. Oh, boy. Answer. Um, well, sure. <laughs> I said you were. You said sure. Oh. Which to most people means yes. Of course she's got a hold of that. Squash game or something. You look like the kind of guys who play squash. And hey, why is it called squash? Is it something to do with the fruit? Or veg? Yeah, there she goes on one of her runs. Yeah, that makes sense. In spite of the fact that I told you it was important, you couldn't find it in your heart to put aside your personal antagonism toward me for one day and help me out. Mom, this is not fair. Is Emily going to prison then? Is that the end of Emily? Would you say your mother sets impossible goals which people cannot help but fail to reach, thereby reinforcing her already formed opinion of their deficiencies? Answer, mm. only for her daughter. Okay, not there. <laughs> Keep flipping. Well, that kind of has you there. Hey, dinner's ready. <laughs> Who's hungry besides me? <laughs> I'd keep it warm. We're going to be here a while. Okay. Yeah, look how big that book is. On a scale from 1 to 10, what would you rate your mother in terms of compassion for others' feelings? Want to guess what she said? Oh, oh thank you. Oh, there we go. Mom. What did she say? Hang on a second, Laurel. I just want to skip to the bed oh, for a reference. I assume she said 1. Yeah, I did. So ashamed of herself. <laughs> oh, Paris, don't do this, please. Oh, God, the, the seasonal Paris falls out with Rory stored on, I guess. Give till it hurts? No. Give till you're on the floor dead. Beef jerky. You made beef jerky for me. And there's cornbread and fried marshmallow pie for dessert. And you have fried marshmallow pie. <gasps> you cheated on me! No! Oh my god. I just flirted accidentally! Turn it off! You didn't even flirt at all, actually. Remind me that my wife cheated on me! So, well no, Tony's gonna have a massive lot about it. For me. We met at the learning center the other day. Yeah, my friend this is the reason. A date. Um, right. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Fat Sal sends his love. I actually called your in. I was going to leave a message, but this French guy just gave me your home number. Said I shouldn't worry about calling too late, that you usually stay up till 3, 4 in the morning. Yeah. No, don't worry about him. He's getting fired. Right. So <laughs> well, I was wondering. Though so I thought it would really help to have another person there who could help He's me make He's calling in the big guns, to be fair. Interesting Lord solution to a fascinating problem. So I was wondering what you were doing this Saturday. You know, it's funny you should ask me this Smooth because I just happen to be one of the world's foremost coffee experts. Yep. Really? Oh, yeah. It's basically just me and this guy named Chuckles in Brazil. Sounds like fate. My partner likes regular Joe. Huh. He's not the most boring guy in the world, is he? So, still won't let go to my house, huh? Afraid not. What else you got? But it sucks for him because he's not Luke, and she's going to end up with Luke, so. It's just their way of prolonging it. But I will say about the show, they don't really hint at like Luke and Lorelai a lot. Like, they have like every 10 apps or 8 apps, like a little moment, but he's, Luke's too slow on his feet with it. <laughs> he's had plenty of opportunities to ask me on a date and he hasn't. Um, yeah, this was okay. This was an okay. Nothing, yeah, as a 73% on track, that's the lowest rate up of the season, I think, which I would agree with. I think this is. Let me check. Yes, 100% the weakest app of the season so far. It wasn't bad, just very mid slap bang in the middle for me as much good as there were. I, won't, I won't say as much good as there was bad but i'd say as much good as there were bland like boring mid stuff uh, like the, some of the jokes were funny i thought lorelei and suki kind of hanging out together was good but i just do not care about the rivalries going on at rory's school and 
her trying to be this bully, but she's just fancy as a name. It's just like crap. And then Paris falling out with Rory again. I feel like that just happens so many times. I do like that Paris kind of knew she was being played by Francie. She was just annoyed that she went to even talk to Francie and told her about a boyfriend or whatever. But I don't know. Like, we're really going to give Rory the cold shoulder now for like three apps or something because of that. <sighs> snooze i won't mind so much but the fact it's just happened so many times throughout the show already i could i could do without it to be honest um we got a lot of emily i won't say her storyline was all that good just kind of her being called in for oh lorelei being called in for a deposition and then uh emily being questioned or her practices being questioned about firing people for silly things it, it was fine nothing major no jess no lane uh so no Kirk as well, which I was actually really wanting this episode. So we kind of stunk on that, <laughs> on that side of things. But yeah, Billy, Billy Burke is the actor's name. I want to see if he's, he's still acting. He was in Fire Country in 2022 for 22 episodes. This is the guy that Laura is going to go on the date with. He's in Lights Out. He's in Twilight. Is he in Twilight? He plays Charlie Swan. Oh, oh my God. Bro, I've never... When I watched Twilight, I didn't even make that connection. It's uh, Bella's dad. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and he plays... There it is. Gary Matheson in 24 for seven episodes. Wow, I did not pick on that. That's cool. Uh, so, yeah, anyway. Fine episode. I'd go slap bang in the middle of this. I think like a five... Maybe, maybe a bit hard. Maybe like a 5.5 or something. I don't think it's quite a 6, but I think it's just very mid. Uh, definitely the weakest of the season so far. But Oh yeah, and the Sucky stuff. I did... I, I liked Sucky with Lorelai, but her whole... You flirting on me, Jackson. That was crap. That was really boring. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway guys, I'll see you next time for episode 12. Until then, take care. Peace.